Morning everybody, welcome to Paul Vickery Fishing. This is part two of Small Rivers of Kent. Today we're going to be fishing on the River Len around Maidstone. Let's get straight into the action. Right, let's make a first cast. In she goes. Oh, there was a bite. Oh, got one. Got one. Yes. Oh, that's a good brooch. Oh, that's another chap. It's not a bad chub. Lovely. Let's get him back. Pulling a bit. That's another one of these eyed. Bloody hell. A big old fish. <laughs> I have not come with my landing net today. It's a bit of a pain. <sighs> Came out in a bit of a rush. I haven't been very well prepared. <clears throat> oh, look at that, that's a bigger ride than the one from the other day. Be I'm not entirely sure that that is not some sort of roachy, chub breamy hybrid. I've never seen anything like it. What a bloody ride. I can't believe how many ride are down here. There's three and three chucks. Get that one looks a little bit more roachy. Look at that. A lovely fish. There's three and three chucks. I'm glad I came back. So that's five eyed I've had out of this bit of river. In, uh, two visits. <laughs> Dream a little bit because uh, this little bush here I was struggling to see around it and I think the fish have just backed off a little bit. A little roach here. I honestly can't believe how good this fishing is. <laughs> it's nuts. You'd walk past this all day long. You not even bat an eyelid at it. But there's tons of fish in here. Absolutely tons of them. From last time, I did just stop in Medway Tackle and they had these crystal bobbers from Drennan. And they're perfect. Not too long. I think there's two AA carries a bit more weight and it's just pulling down lovely but it's not as wet as it was last time it's still pretty wet but there's a nice tree under there i think that's probably where the big ones hide after a while i don't know there's a fish right under, oh, right under my feet oh, that was only a roach i wonder where those uh i'd have come from there is a park lake behind me which uh might be when it floods they end up there I can't think of any fisheries upstream of here. Let's bosh it in. I'm sure there's fish behind there. Ooh, pay attention, pull that flat one under there. There's a fish right under my feet. It's enough. Oh! That was another ride. <laughs> I don't know, it's hard to tell. But some of them, one of them was really breamy looking. And, but it does have a reputation for doing a few big roach in here. I hope one of those eyed, that wasn't a massive roach. It felt a little bit different. I think they're in the slightly deeper water just in front of me.
be able to see a float down there. I had a comment on my Small Rivers of Kent the Darrant video saying about not being able to see the float. It'd be nice to see it going under because there ain't nothing better. Just going to ease off on the maggots a bit, like three or four. It's a fine line between being really confident and having loads and uh, getting them to eat your bait. It's called catching, not feeding. Here's a chub for a change of scenery. Look how spotless that is. Absolutely stunning. Some nice ropes this time, I think. I know it's a perch. So I'm having to fish a bit crudely today, I'm afraid, because my lack of landing net. That's a nice perch. Can't quite work out why. I'm losing these eyed. I don't know whether it's the really soft rod and they're just getting away. They tend to be going for that snag over there. And um, yeah, the soft rod, I've almost got to be on them a bit more, I think. Have a tighter line. It don't take long for them to get. Oh, got one. There's another one. Oh, you see him down the water there? Oh, they're cracking fish, I tell you. They are nice. This is more another breamy one. Let's go up here. Let's beach him up here. Oh, I can't believe how good this sport is. It's nuts. So I wish I had my hand in it. I could have made this a lot less of a drama. There you go, go in. Lovely fish. I'd like say this one's more of a breamy one. But that's got to be getting off at two pound. <laughs> I honestly can't believe this fishing. It's nuts. I came here expecting, well, after last time, I was expecting a few. But I can't remember how many I've caught, but I think I might have caught six or eight from this little spot. It's literally six foot wide. It's nuts. They keep coming as well. They haven't spooked, which is surprising. I suppose they've got plenty of cover here. And I'm, I'm guessing the shadow of the trees is stopping them seeing me. Yeah, I was much tighter on that fish then. I think it's if I get when I'm down there get a bite near that bloody great big willow that's the thing that's doing me big trailing willow root fortunately for my viewers I'm hoping you can see some of these bites because they're literally right down there I'm chucking the maggots in there it's going about six foot hitting the bottom about two foot deep just down in front of me and I've moved some of that undergrowth so you can see That's where I've got to be careful. This tends to be where the fish are. There's another good one. Oh, I'll get out of there. There's another eye. There's just loads of them in there. Oh, frick it. They come off for fun. <sighs> I haven't had a bite for a while. There's one. There's, look, 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 look. See? Oh, See? They're big ones. Big yeah, they're big ones. They're not little. Oh. oh no. Did you see that? <laughs> they are big. Oh, he snapped me up, man. That one. Oh. Blimey. <laughs> right, I've gone up to a size 16. And, uh slightly stronger bottom. Might get a few less bites but I don't want to get snapped. There's another one. I was just thinking to myself, I was just thinking to myself 
whether that big hook is not going to do the trick. Here boys, Charlie. Charlie. Yeah, whether that big hook is not going to do the trick. And I wanted to prove a point and go back to a smaller hook. But I did get a bite, which is nice. I've got myself a nice another hide. Oh, come on. Hang on. It's an amazing sport, it really is. I think that might have been. <laughs> that was the last fish that snapped me off. Look, there's my hook in there. <laughs> Get that out whilst I'm here. Put that away. Put that in my rubbish bin. But yeah, you can tell they're eyed rather than roach. Roach would be deeper and uh, they've got a slightly more chubby mouth. Chub have got dark edges to their fins. Um, yeah, and the, the dorsal fin, I'm no expert, but a roach would be more up here. But yeah, eyed. They're doing really well in this river. <laughs> Fish like that shouldn't have snapped me off really. So it was only a 0.10 bottom. Okay. Right, I have certainly plundered this swim. I'm going to give it a rest and go further upstream where I saw that bream. I don't want to sit there all day because I'd like to explore more swims. There might be swims even better than these ones, can you imagine? So yeah, three quarters of an hour fishing. I don't know, how many did I catch? Eight? Eight eyed? It's madness. Let's see what we catch up there. Make sure to like and subscribe.